Hi everyone. Welcome to this simple guide to show how to read a barcode using the VMX. To start off with, I have remoted into the VMX uh, with using VNC. I'm using the Ethernet port on the VMX as we will be connecting to the internet. And when we connect to the internet via the VMX Pi, if we were connected over Wi-Fi, we would lose that connection and we would not be able to continue VNC into the VMX. The Ethernet port on the VMX is locked to the IP address 172.22.11.2. You can also look up here where it shows that the Ethernet port is configured as 172.22.11.2 and we're also broadcasting our Wi-Fi access point of 10.12.34.2 so to start we need to install a bunch of dependencies so that we can read the barcode communicate with the robot and create a watchdog that will monitor a file I'm going to open up terminal I'm going to run the command set up Wi-Fi client dot sh. What this will do is it will convert the Wi-Fi on the Raspberry Pi from a access point to a normal Wi-Fi node. Now my Wi-Fi auto connects automatically as I already have it set up to connect to my Wi-Fi. If you didn't have that, you could click up at the top here select the Wi-Fi that you wanted to connect to and input the password for it. Now that we're connected to the Wi-Fi we can install the packages that we need. The first package let's clear so you can see better is the Pi Z bar which will be used to read the barcode or QR code. Now normally you don't use a super user to install a pip or python package. The reason we're doing this is because our final script will be running as a startup script under a specific file location that's run as a super user. We have to use the super user scripts here to make sure our packages are installed in the correct location. So I'm going to enter. and it will start installing and it be installed and good to go. Then we need to install the scripts from PyZBar. Once PyZBar is installed we can install the network tables which is used to communicate from the vision side of the VMX so the desktop side to the robot code so that the robot can understand what's going on so that's Pi network tables installed now the last package that we want to install is the watchdog and the watchdog will be used because the network tables and PyZBar don't interact with one another perfectly which causes issues and loss of communication so what we need to do is we'll create a barcode script that reads the barcode and then writes to a file now we'll create a watchdog on the separate that will be running all the time that will read if there is a change in that or a modification in that file will read the file and then update the robot with the current values so let's download the watchdog
and the watchdog is now installed. Now everything I just did there is on our docs page already if you wanted to go over it. Our docs page has already the write-up for this whole video series that we're doing on reading the barcode and you can read up on it and follow along if you learn that way better instead of doing it via the video. Now before we go back to uh, programming our scripts we no longer need to be in client mode because we don't need to be connected to the internet as we're not downloading any more dependencies or packages. So I'm going to put it back to AP mode so setup Wi-Fi AP.sh now because my device was already configured I'll, I have training dash one two three four and with no password now with you guys the default would be world skills one two three four and the password would be password you don't have to type it in again once it's been sourced already now you'll also notice as now the uh, Wi-Fi status has changed here to access point and you can see our WLAN is now again 10.12.34.2 we can also verify that it's working by looking at our Wi-Fi list and we can see that the training-1234 is broadcasting again with no password in my case